Many of us have had a friend or a family member that has asked us to teach them how to video edit. A lot of us, however, do not have the time to teach said friend how to video edit. Now this friend doesn't necessarily have the passion for video editing that you do, but they see it more as just a means to an end and that's totally fine. Maybe they just need to create advertising content for a product or a brand, or maybe they just need to edit some instructional video for their job, etc., etc. This is where your Uncle Josh comes in. Right now, I'm gonna teach them a new way of video editing that even you, as the professional video editor, may not even know about. This new way and easier type of video editing is perfect for the beginner, and it uses AI to literally edit video like a Word document. So before we move on, send this video to your friend right now, and then literally wait 10 minutes for them to view this, then watch as your friend walks through your front door as a completely changed man or woman, and never needing to ask for your help again. All right, I'll give you three seconds to pass this video along. One, two, three. Hello, friend. You've been given this video because you need a fast way to video edit. Emphasis on fast. With the help of artificial intelligence, I'm gonna teach you how to edit a video in just a couple of minutes without the need of learning professional video editing software. We're about to use a desktop app called Descript and they are sponsoring this video because I asked them to. Before we hop into the software, I'm just gonna give you a quick synopsis of what the software does. The first thing you do is you just upload your footage into Storyboard. But here's the cool thing, your footage in Storyboard is actually represented by the transcript or the script as opposed to the actual clips in a timeline. You can then edit the script to your liking, just like a Word document, cutting up the pauses, the verbal errors and the like. And what's happening underneath is all of that footage is being automatically edited in conjunction with the script editing that's taking place at the same time. This is actually crazy and I'm gonna go further into detail regarding what's actually happening in a sec. So now your script has been edited and now it's time to divide your script into scenes using the slash key. You basically add a slash whenever you want your visuals to change somehow, and you'll see this new scene popping up in the margin of the script. Now, if I want to overlay an image or a video over a specific scene, I then simply drag it over and on top of that section of the script, and voila, it's done just like that. And check this out, the videos are automatically trimmed so that it's contained within the scene. I can then tune the positioning of the video so that it's within the scene. And lastly, if I want to add a lower thirds or a title, I just add a rectangle and a text clip to a scene. Quick side note, you can actually use the overdub feature to actually backspace out words and replace them with new words. And Descript will actually use AI to actually replicate your voice in real time and say those new words that you type in. I'm pretty sure this is a seventh edition Creature Kawaii. Now let's do this all in real life as we dive into the actual storyboard interface. First, go to Descript.com and make an account. Download the Descript app. Open everything up and then click on new project. Let's name this project my first project. Click on the plus button, then file to add your first video file to transcribe and then of course edit. Here I've uploaded this video file of me talking to the camera. Now right click and select transcribe file. You can now see the newly made script right here. I'm now gonna edit the script, removing all of the bad takes just by using the backspace key. Now click on this star-shaped icon and click on Shorten Word Gaps. This will remove any of your ugly pauses. Let's shorten the gap to zero seconds and click Apply to All. You can manually edit the gaps on a more minute level by actually going straight into the timeline window, clicking on a word and dragging it closer or more further apart to any other word that it's close to. Now review your entire script and use the slash key to separate the entire script into scenes. How's it going? My name is Joshua Lufemi, owner of Lagos Ice Cream here in Los Angeles, California. We have a rotating selection of 20 flavors and we offer free delivery on Fridays. Visit us today. Now I'm trying to figure out where I want to place my slashes to divide my script into individual scenes. Make sure you take your time and actually think about where you're going to want these cuts in your video to be. Feel free to replay your video as many times as you need to. Now I gotta cover this one thing before we move on guys. The footage associated with each scene can be seen, no pun intended, to the right of the script in the canvas window. The footage in each scene can be edited via the sidebar on the far right. You can edit the opacity, the crop, the scale, the position, and the rotation. You can apply different effects like green screen to remove the main subject from the background or color adjustments to perform a quick color correction. You can apply different animations to the footage via the animation window. And lastly, you can control the audio levels via the audio window and apply audio effects via the audio effects window. Also guys, 
Templates can be applied to any scene via the templates button up top, whether they be titles, intros, slides, overlays, etc. Okay, so we have our main footage cut, edited down, and separated into scenes. I am now finally gonna show you how to add supporting media over on top of your main footage scene by scene. Now let's watch and listen to this first scene and brainstorm the type of footage that we may need. How's it going? My name is Joshua Lefemi, owner of Lagos Ice Cream here in Los Angeles, California. We have a rotating selection of 20 flavors and we offer free delivery on Fridays. Visit us today. Okay, for this first scene, I think I'm gonna want a clip of an ice cream shop. Click on the media button, go to video and type in ice cream shop into the search bar. Pick the best ice cream shop footage that you can see and then drag it onto that first scene. Now head up to the text button and let's add a title to the video. I am now going to change the fill color and I'm also gonna add a background. Now let's do the same process for all of the other scenes. Now it's time that we add a music track behind all this footage to seal the deal. Go back to the media button, select music, pick the perfect track, and drag it into your script below. How's it going? My name is Joshua Lufemi, owner of Lagos Ice Cream here in Los Angeles, California. We have a rotating selection of 20 flavors, and we offer free delivery on Fridays. Visit us today. Last but not least, you can control the fade in at the end of the video or any audio clip by looking for the white ball at the end of the track, clicking on it. You can control the duration of the fade in here, or you can control the duration by just clicking on the white ball and dragging it left to right. You can affect both the video and the audio. Now click on the publish button and click export. Select your preferred export settings. I'm personally gonna change the resolution to 1080p and the quality to high to optimize this for YouTube. Now click export. How's it going? My name is Joshua Lufemi, owner of Lagos Ice Cream here in Los Angeles, California. We have a rotating selection of 20 flavors and we offer free delivery on Fridays. Visit us today.